you guys. The Affliction Builder. I uh, feel like I'm coming down with an allergy a little bit or a cold or something going on with me. <clears throat> but, um, I wanted to shout out to you guys. Um, I want to do another little quick review on uh, a pistol that I recently picked up. Um, basically, I picked this up maybe a couple of months ago. Kimber in a nice case, and uh, it's basically the new micro 9mm uh, that they've came out with. And uh, basically I got this pistol uh, because I like the 9mm, you know I got the Glock in 9mm, a couple of my other rifles are 9mm, so it's a common round it's out there it's it's a lot cheaper sometimes in 380 or 25 or you know it's easy to get in bulk and uh, I had the 380 DB and uh, like I said I was running into some problems with it and uh, you know I mean it's a good little gun but I said let me go back to the power of a 9 millimeter and the fact that I could find the bullets and I have them, you know, here. And uh, so I thought this would be pretty cool. Um, I haven't shot this yet. This is a Kel uh, Kimber Micro 9mm. It is a stainless model that I've... <clears throat> it doesn't come like this if you, uh, if you buy the... Uh, I think it's the Bel Air. <clears throat> It'll come out buffed with this silver high finish. This came out with a satin finish. And it also came with these rosewood grips Kimber makes. And there's nothing against these grips. Um, they're good rosewood grips. But I like the Kimber Bel Air. I think the Bel Air was like $749. I think I got this one like 589. So I got a pretty good deal. I think when I ordered it, it was sold out. They sell out pretty quick now. <clears throat> but I put the uh, aftermarket white ivy grips on there. And uh, I'm pretty happy. I haven't shot it yet. I do have it armed. It holds uh, six, seven rounds. I haven't shot it yet, but there's what the clip looks like, stainless. And it has the uh, mag release here. <clears throat> Essentially, it's a mini 1911, a micro 1911 um, sights. It has the external hammer, which I like, because once it you know, it cocks itself back. It doesn't take much to release that trigger, so you don't have the, the double action that you have on so many other picture uh, pistols out there, single action. And then, which means, you know, you could load one in the chamber, cock it back. It has the thumb safety. So a lot of uh, your law enforcement or people that carry, concealed, will carry this and keep it the safety on. And then, Turn the safety off with your thumb, and then you're ready to go. So you could have one in the chamber, you know, you could cock it, one in the chamber, you could even leave the, the hammer down, and then when you want it, you know, cock it back if you feel the need. But uh, it, t it comes down just typically like a little 1911, you know, or Glock. It's uh, pretty easy to take down. Um, but it fits in the hand pretty good. I get like two fingers on it, as you can see, and it, it's pretty pretty good grip. This is a you know full size Glock 17, so you could just kind of see the difference in relationship to a full size 
to the micro um, but uh you know I, I just like the, the clashiness of this I like the high finish it took me several nights in the garage with the uh, cotton wheel and a Dremel I started with and then I did the cotton wheel on the bench with some jeweler's robe and I went top and I took the slide off did the slide by itself I then did the barrel by itself and I think it turned out pretty good that's pretty much what I what I wanted you know everything every since I watched Pulp Fiction and Samuel Jackson you know when he had that chrome 45 and he's you know, talking to those kids, I was like, man, that looks pretty cool, you know. Something that a boss would have or, you know, someone in the mob or drug cartel, they have different gold-plated guns and different things, but I just wanted something with a little appeal to it. And so this draw drew me my attention to it, so I buffed it out and I bought these grips were relatively inexpensive. I think I paid like 30 bucks for them shipped but they're out there. But I've read good reviews about it. You know, I've cleaned it out pretty good. Um, you know, the sights are pretty good. Standard, uh, you know, three dot sights. You see them. And, uh, but overall, the fit and the finish on this is really good. I mean, from the, you know, the, the grips to the the metal detailing in the slide, the pins, the uh, button head screws that take these uh, two screws to change the grips out. It's easy to break down. The mags, I mean the magazine, you can see it man, it just it fits perfectly flush. I mean, you know, just like I said, a standard 1911 has a nice beaver tail. Of course there's no trigger action back there with the beaver tail just you know nice to keep your your fingers or your you know your meat while this thing goes back so you're not tearing the skin off the back of your hand but uh, I, I like it a lot I think it looks cool and uh, I'll take it out and shoot it but I haven't read anything bad really from Kimber I, I you know they, they say they make a pretty good uh, weapon and from what I've seen I believe it you know having looked at the fit and finish of other firearms out there but uh this seems to be the thing now these are these selling out pretty quickly um, like I say the Bel Air it comes like this if you don't want to do the work if you want to save you know a buck and a half two hundred bucks like I said you get a uh, satin and you could buff it out yourself or you just want to leave it to set, and that's fine. That's, you know, very good, too. You know, with this, I just got to keep it shiny, you know. And, but, uh, you know, I'll probably have this as my carry gun, you know, when I need to. Put it in a pocket. You know, it's still small enough that it'll fit in a pocket and, you know, good enough for the home. But, uh, you know, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll probably try to get a video actually shooting it. But I think it's a pretty good choice, you know, just uh, do your shopping, look around, and, you, you know, you'll, you'll find a price out there that suits your budget, you know, but, but just check them out, you know. And, uh, anyways, I'll leave you with that, but uh, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it at this point so far, so thank you guys.